So I want to ask, what do you perceive as one of the core values that makes an image look cinematic? And this term has been highly debated since the DSLR revolution with the 5D Mark II because there's a lot more that goes into making an image look in cinematic than just the camera that you're filming on. The costume, the lighting, the location and even the acting can contribute to a cinematic looking image. However, there is of course a stern difference between the image quality from an ARRI in comparison to a GoPro. Now is that just down to the sensor, the resolution, the frames per second, the colour science? Well, it's a mix of them all but one value that is often overlooked is the highlight roll-off so if I just turn on this spotlight behind me and on the B cam tilt up so we can bring it into frame I'm sure you're gonna notice a stern difference between the two the A cam is a red Komodo and the B cam the Canon R5 on the Canon R5 a very capable and well manufactured camera the ascension into the highlights is very quick until we get to that clipped area simply because the light is too bright for the sensor to capture any data with the red komodo the highlights slowly ascend into the brightest areas and there's a nice gradual highlight roll off this is one of the most often overlooked aspects of making an image look cinematic a common myth within the film world is that every highlight needs to be saved but the truth is you will often see highlights in movies and tv shows that don't hold any data value like from the sun a window or the sky so what makes these highlights visually appealing yep it's the highlight roll-off now the highlight roll-off is a characteristic of celluloid film where the highlights gradually round off and fade into white rather than having a sharp transition it's organically pleasing not digitally compromising. Of course, when we hear the term film look, it refers to the visual aesthetic of images captured on celluloid. Now, digital camera companies have been trying to replicate this highlight roll off for years, with some like Red and Ari leading the pack. So while color science, dynamic range, and sensor technology will set the barrier for how well a camera will produce a cinematic image, I genuinely believe that highlight roll off can be one of the most prominent attributes in making your image look filmic as opposed to video. In contrast, when filming with a lower budget camera, the digital images can have limited dynamic range and tend to clip at either end of the tonal scale. The highlights can quickly become overexposed and turn into flat white areas with no detail. This happens because the photosites that make up the digital sensor have a linear response and quickly reach what is called the full well capacity, lacking the relaxed increase in the overexposed areas as seen in film. So you may think, okay, if my camera doesn't have great dynamic range or an excellent highlight roll off, I'm, I'm kind of doomed in this sense. But no, that is not the case because we can somewhat mimic highlight roll off with a diffusion filter. So this here is a diffusion filter and this one specifically is the Tiffin Black Promis Diffusion Filter and it's known for creating a hazy glow around the brighter objects within your image. It's able to do this down to etched imperfections of the glass. When the light rays hit these imperfections, they'll redirect, scatter across the uneven surface, create a hazy glow that these filters are known for. And it's this tool that may help you obtain a more filmic image if you find that your camera just isn't capable of gradually rolling into the highlights and it clips too fast. So we know that film has the gradual rounding off of values for the highlights where they fade or progressively bloom into white. And we know that diffusion filters spread light and soften the transition between highlights and white areas. So okay, you probably get where I'm going with this. Yes, we can use a diffusion filter to prevent the highlights from appearing too harsh or blown out. When using a diffusion filter, filmmakers and photographers can add a subtle layer of texture and tonal variations to the image, which can help enhance the image's overall perception and create a more cinematic look. So while a blossom around the highlights and highlight roll off are inherently two different things and display different visual characteristics, the hazy glow created by a diffusion filter can undoubtedly push you closer to producing a more naturally pleasing image. You may be looking at these comparisons and finding yourself thinking, Lewis, these differences are so small. And yeah, you would be 100% correct. Quite like our negative fill examples, the difference is minimal, but it's the combination of these incremental additions that contribute to a filmic image, not just any singular camera. As I noted in the introduction, although the diffusion filter can give your work a cinematic look, relying on something other than this effect is crucial. The cinematic look is of course created from a combination of factors, 
not just diffused light and a hazy glow. So make sure to use the filter to contribute to the story that you are trying to tell. But in general, if you find that you're working with a camera that has limited dynamic range and the highlights are being clipped too quickly, while a diffusion filter won't help the dynamic range, it will help the ascension into highlights appear more organic and less visually displeasing. All right guys, I've been Lewis with Fidivo and I will catch you next time.